Farmers generally keep a close eye on the weather. It affects their daily lives more than most of ours. But for Robert Bradbury, who lives on a farm north of Roberts in Ford County, observing and recording the weather has been a daily routine for most of this century. Mr. Bradbury has been a volunteer observer for the U.S. Weather Bureau since 1911. At least once a day, fair weather or foul, snow or shine, he has gone out to check his thermometers, rain gauge, and other instruments and to record the observations for his weekly report to the Weather Bureau. At 93, he is the senior observer of some 200 in Illinois, and one of the oldest among the 12,000 across the country, whose reports are used in preparing the Bureau's crop bulletins and compiling long-term weather records. But this is Mr. Bradbury's last month as an official observer. He is retiring from the Weather Bureau program, although he'll continue, for his own enjoyment at least, to measure the rain and watch the changing weather, which has been his abiding interest from childhood. But when we was kids, we fed cattle. Cut corn fodder. One year we cut 40 acres of corn, shocks. And every morning, we'd get up at 5 o'clock. In the, in the wintertime, we'd get up at 5 o'clock. But when, when the spring work started, we got up at 4 o'clock. We slept down the stairs and, and at 4 o'clock every morning, we'd hear Dad come thump, thump, thump. Oh, oh. <laughs> we hit the floor. <laughs> and we hit up in some coldest, coldest weather, and we had to hitch up in a sled and then pop a sled and go up the other, other farm there and get a load of fodder, put on six shocks. Come in, unload all that in a great long rack, about 50 or 60 feet long. <laughs> Then come in, change your clothes, and run across the field to get to school before the bell rang. <laughs> and that's, you know, think about the weather, then the cold mile in. <laughs> Mr. Bradbury moved to the Roberts area just before the turn of the century. He helped build the farm where he now lives. He has always farmed, but he has also worked as a carpenter, plumber, and electrician on the side. He volunteered for the unpaid weather observer job in 1911 and has been working at it ever since. In 1961, the Weather Bureau marked his 50 years of continuous service with a special award, but he kept on with his daily observations until this month. Four Bradbury children are still living, two sons and two daughters, and they all seem to share their father's interest in the weather, especially Dorothy, who is a research meteorologist at the University of Chicago. Mr. Bradbury sums up his philosophy of life this way. A day isn't worth living, he says, in which you haven't done something for someone else. And that's probably as good a way as any to view his long years of volunteer service to the Weather Bureau. This is Dick Adams reporting.